Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new here. If you are new, my name is Shan from Home with Shan over on Instagram. Head on over and follow me if you don't already. In today's video, we've got a, a baby haul, my favourite kind of haul. I've got some clothes, I've got some essentials, some baby essentials. So yeah, let's just straight jump straight into it to be honest. We have a three month old called George, just for reference. These are gonna be, the clothing things are gonna be quite boyish and they're all actually from George at Asda. And that's obviously just a total coincidence. There's no reason that I've got it because his name's George. It's just Asda had some really good things that were really affordable. So we decided to get a few things from there. And he's just gone from zero to three months into his three to six month clothes. Or at least I thought he had. And then I picked up the things from Asda and now I think, oh my God, these are way too big for him. But he'll grow into them. so it's all good as i've been talking about the clothes let's start off with those and then i've got a couple of essentials in boxes here and i'm actually quite excited for them because i feel like they're things that i haven't had so far but that will make my life a lot easier okay starting off with the clothes we have these t-shirts or long sleeve t-shirts should i say and they're three pack they are so cute look at these colors look at me look guys i absolutely adore neutral colors and for george to be in neutral colors as well i mean come on i'm not mad at this this is like pretty much the exact same color as my jumper and then underneath that says happy on it by the way and then underneath you just got this beautiful one it's got all these little rabbits on and um, it gives me sort of peter rabbit vibes i'm not gonna lie it's also got these little pockets in them i don't know if you can see obviously he's not going to use the pockets but i just think they're really cute and then the next one is i'll actually show you on the back the next one is this it just says me and you forever and then I think it says like happiness and smiles and little bunny and happiness and giggles and that kind of thing. So sweet. And then we actually also have the matching bottoms. I just think these are so cute. They're joggers. They're really nice. They're spacious. I think these are so gorgeous. They're exactly the same. Got all the different patterns there. I just think they're perfect. How sweet are these? He's going to look so cute in this. Little outfit is so cute. These trousers were seven pound for three pairs, which I think are really good. They're obviously like a jogger material as well. So yeah, three for seven pounds. And then I don't actually know how much these are because the price isn't on them, but I will link them all down below if you're interested in, in getting these exact ones. I got these online, so you can definitely order them online if you want to as well. Next up, we've got another set of joggers, two sets. This one is like a beautiful, like dark green color. These are much thicker than the other ones. So they're like a much nicer, thicker, wintery material, I think. And then the front ones are these like brown, beautiful. Oh, I just love how cute these are. And they've obviously got all these dinosaurs all over them. I just thought these were so adorable. And we have a matching hoodie, which has also got the little dinosaurs on them. And I feel like he could definitely wear this hoodie with these or these obviously that's like the matching set i just thought that was so so cute and it's like i really like a zip up hoodie just because obviously it's really fleecy as well it's like a really really warm hoodie but i have to say these are like big for three to six months in my opinion but maybe he hasn't grown out of three, zero to three months i feel like i felt like he had but these are just massive like as in he will not i'll get george in a minute and you'll be able to see like he will not fit in these yet but he'll obviously grow into them these joggers were six pounds the set of two the really thick material and then this was five pounds so five pounds for the hoodie another little set perfect love baby clothes guys i'm just obsessed then we've got two more things so they're more like outerwear things so like for winter so we've got this beautiful bobble hat oh my god look at that it's got these little ear things on them i just thought that was so sweet how beautiful and wintry is that i just love that so much that he's gonna be so warm in that it's insane and then it's also got these little mittens on them as well i mean i didn't love i don't love the idea of mittens because i feel like they're just gonna fall off and he wears pram suits quite a lot anyway and they usually have like integrated mittens or at least my favorite ones have integrated mittens in them but it matches the little hat i feel like that is again quite big for a three to six month old um maybe george just got a small head i don't know but he will definitely get a lot of use out of that a lot more than three to six months, 100%. And then the last piece of clothing from Asda or from George at Asda is this snowsuit. So he's got this like really nice lining inside. It's like a really thick 
um, fleecy material and then on the outside it's waterproof which I absolutely love not that he's going out in the rain much anyway but I just like the fact that one you can wipe it or yeah it's just waterproof and I think that's a lot better again this seems really really big but like I said my favorite kind of snowsuit is the ones that have integrated mittens and these ones you fold over just like you would with a baby grow and their hands aren't loose so that's perfect i absolutely love that another thing that i've just noticed on this snowsuit is actually it's got which i think is really cool the zip comes all the way to the bottom here so this is obviously the zip that you undo it from and then it actually goes all the way round to the back so if you needed to change a nappy for example and you didn't, and it was freezing cold you could actually do that I don't know if you can see, I'm not showing it very well, but that's the, this is the back of the snowsuit now, and you can actually change his nappy like that. I feel like that is actually a really good feature that I didn't even realise it had. But yeah, this was £14, I feel like that is really good. It also comes with this um, bag, I'm, I'm assuming you put this in the bag, I don't know why you'd want to. Maybe just to put this away in your like uh, changer bag or something, you could always just shove it all in to this bag and then it just doesn't take up enough, as much space, I guess, maybe that's the reason. But yeah, I think this is a really good buy. I'm really happy with this. I feel like overall, all the bits that I've got from Asda, I absolutely love. Like, I love all these muted colors. I love all of these designs. And I think that for the price, the quality is really, really good. And they are obviously supermarket affordable. So that is all the clothing that I got from Asda. Now, should we jump on to the other essential bits that I got? Two things. Things I feel like I'm gonna change my game. Okay, so the next thing is a little bit heavy. Oh, right. This is something that we've just got for George, I guess for Christmas, um, but not really. It's kind of just an essential thing that we didn't have. So it's a travel cot, and this is gonna last him for a very long time. It's got loads of awards and stuff like that. It's got loads of really good reviews. I think we got this from Amazon, maybe? I'll link it down below where we got it from. I have read a lot of stuff on this and it seems to me that this is a really, really affordable and good option. I'll link everything down below in terms of price and everything, but I was just so happy with this when I saw it. We needed one, I guess, for when we do decide, when we're allowed, and when we do decide to actually go away. We're actually going away over Christmas and this will be perfect for that. Obviously, you know we've got those five days in the UK where we're allowed to go and visit friends and family. Then this will come in so handy because they don't have cots, they don't have babies, so we will have to take our own and this is gonna be perfect. And also, when we're allowed, we'd really like to go away in the UK a little bit, so do a little bit of traveling, just maybe like drive up to the Lake District or something like that and just getting out of our town, but not necessarily going abroad because one, COVID, two, baby, three, money <laughs> so yeah i feel like traveling in the uk and stuff like that this is going to come in so handy it obviously is quite compact i haven't actually got it out of the box yet but i've just read so many good reviews but obviously going to test it out before we go away for christmas but i'm really happy that we've got this i feel like on a budget guys this is going to be a lifesaver if you need a travel court 100 okay the last thing is something that i feel like you're going to judge me for not having already but it is a nappy bin honestly right so this is the story behind this this is a different kind of nappy bin to the ones you used to see so it's not like a tommy tippy one where you like twiddle it up you've got all the filters and all that kind of stuff this is a vital baby hygiene odor trap nappy disposal system so with this one you don't need any refills you don't need any like filters anything like that you literally just need this basically like a patented design so no other brand can do this because it's a patented thing so from what i can tell this is the handle and you basically like flip this over the top of the bin and it basically closes the entire thing you know what let me get it out and let's show you exactly how it works because i'm so excited for this before this guys i have to admit we've just been using just a normal bin bag and we've been taking like pooey nappies downstairs like into the bin outside straight away and we've just put like been putting like normal nappies or wee nappies into the bag i mean it's not great let's face it but because no one's been in this room like sleeping we kind of thought you know what it, it doesn't really matter but George will eventually be sleeping in this room, so we needed something like this. And you know what? I just didn't love the fact that we had nappies just hanging around in a bin bag. So I feel like this is such a good price for what it is. It was 29 dollars on Amazon. Oh my god. 
If this works as well as I think it's gonna work, I'm happy. Here we go, this is exactly what it does. So, here we go guys, it says exactly here what you do. So you basically drop the nappy in, you flip over the lid, and then you return it back to where it was originally, and the, the smell is absolutely masked, the odour it does not come through, and then you basically just store it and you empty it afterwards, which is amazing. How good is that? I feel like that's going to be amazing for us. Drop, flip, return and empty and it holds up to 25 nappies apparently. That is perfect. So you literally use it with any kind of bin bag. It can just be like a normal bin bag that you've got. So we've got loads of those. We can just pop that in here. Pop this on. Pop the lid on. Ah, oh, here we go. So this makes sense. So you open it like this. It's just got this bit here. So that's like not the bottom of the bin, if that makes sense. So you put that in, put the nappy in, flip it over, and that disposes it, and then it's empty, basically. That's just clever. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna show you it with a clean nappy, just to show you exactly how it works. So this is a clean nappy. Open this up, pop that in. Let's pretend it's a dirty nappy, there it is. Close it, open it up again, bam, gone. How good is that? And then obviously all the dirty nappies are in here, but the odour doesn't come through because it's obviously all sealed and everything. That is magic. And I'm so glad you don't have to use loads of different filters. That's the thing that I was like, I don't want to buy one of those nappy bins you have to keep buying extra stuff for. Vital Baby nappy bin. I'll link it down below, guys. Okay, guys, I thought I'd bring George in just because it's his video, sort of, all the stuff's for him, so I thought it'd be rude to not have him in the video. You all right? Why do you look so grumpy? I really hope you enjoyed that little mini haul, guys. Most of it was obviously clothing from Asda for little baby George that eventually he will grow into, but he definitely will not fit into them at the moment. Let me show you one of the t-shirts on him. Like, look how big that is and look how small he is. Like, he's not gonna fit into that anytime soon. But you will one day, won't you? <laughs> obviously, if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more baby hauls and that kind of stuff, because I'm sure I'm not finished buying stuff for him. But for now, now guys we'll love you and leave you and we'll see you next video bye guys bye